In this video, I take whipped icing and color it in three different ways. If you struggle with coloring whipped icing or are unsure of which type of coloring to use, stay until the end for the final results. Now let's get started. I'm using Better Cream Ready to Whip Icing. It whips up to a nice consistency, full of body, and holds its shape without falling back into the bowl. Similarly, you can whip up your own icing from scratch. I've linked a video showing how in the description. I've also included a link to a video where I reviewed the Better Cream Ready to Whip icing, so check that out in the description as well. Before starting, I separate equal portions of the whipped icing into three separate bowls. First, we'll use gel paste color to color the icing. This is Sky Blue Liquid Gel by Chef Master. Gel paste color can be found at your grocery store and any hobby store with a cake decorating aisle. Start by squeezing a couple of dots onto the icing. I gently stir the icing to distribute the color. Then I gently fold the color into the icing like this. The key word here is gently. You wanna avoid over mixing the whipped icing, especially if it's made from scratch. Be gentle when adding the color to avoid mixing in too much air, which could alter the icing's texture. I get a lot of questions from people who ask about their color separating once it's mixed into their whipped icing and placed into a decorating bag. The best way to avoid this is by making sure that you completely mix the color into the whipped icing. This is going to keep the icing and the coloring from separating once the icing is in the decorating bag and ready to be piped out. Now that the color is consistent throughout, I add the icing to a disposable decorating bag, fit it with a 1M piping tip, and set aside. I'll color the next bowl of whipped icing with powdered color. This is Blue Butterfly Pea Super Color Powder by Suncor Foods. Unlike most food colorings, this one is all natural and derived from the butterfly pea flower. Many natural food colorings are available in powdered form. Using a measuring spoon, I add one teaspoon of powder to the icing to start and gently fold the powder into the whipped icing. The color is very subtle, so I add one more teaspoon of coloring and fold it into the icing. Once the icing color is consistent throughout, I add the icing to a disposable decorating bag and set aside. I color the next bowl of icing with oil-based color. I'm using the color Baby Blue from Color Meal. I always start by shaking the bottle. Then I place a couple of drops onto the icing, similar to how we applied the gel paste color. Next, I gently fold and stir the color into the icing. The color is very subtle, so I add a few more drops. The oil-based color doesn't take as quickly as it did with the gel paste color, and this blue still appears really pale. Here it is against the white whipped icing for comparison. As you can see, it's very soft. So I add two more drops. Let's see how the gel, powder, and oil perform once in a bag and ready to decorate. I lay some parchment paper down on my surface and we're ready. The icing in the gel bag hasn't separated and it also pipes smoothly. The gel paste coloring did not affect the taste of this icing. The whipped icing colored with powder hasn't separated but there are obvious flecks of undissolved powder in the icing. Some people may not like this, but I think it adds a unique appearance to the icing that looks wholesome and homemade in a way. It gives the icing some character. Now this icing doesn't pipe as easily and the flecks are more obvious now that the icing is out of the bag. Also, the powder color did affect the taste of the icing. This whipped icing had a very strong 
butterfly pea flower taste to it. When using natural powdered colors, you can avoid the strong taste that comes from the source. By using the powder sparingly and not expecting a final color that's super bright or very deep, but one that is more subtle and natural looking. The icing colored with oil-based color did not separate in the bag and it also piked very smoothly. The oil-based color did not have any effect on the icing's taste. Which of these colorings have you tried? Do you have a favorite or is there one that just didn't work as expected? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button below and subscribe to my channel for more cake decorating tips and tutorials. Also, be sure to share this video with your cake decorating friends. A huge shout out to my channel members. And to you, as always, thanks for watching.